One more. Say hi to the camera. Alright, she's shy. Look at this thirsty dude. Why'd you put a piece of your food in there? What's up guys? This is Cinco here. And uh, let's go for a drive, eh? Got two awesome announcements to make today. And one is, uh, hey. You got a new truck. Oh, wrong one. There you go. Uh, still getting used to that. Alright, if you guys haven't figured it out already, uh, this is my brand new 2019 Toyota Tacoma, the TRD Sport model. I don't really pay attention to like car sales or you know special sales events going on, but my friends in Milwaukee, they're telling me um, about two weeks ago that, hey man, this Tacoma's having a sale right now, um, you should go check out the trucks. Uh, the, they have like a 1.9 APR percent sale, so uh, that got me thinking. Did a lot of research, uh, talked to some people here and there, contacted the uh, Toyota sales rep, and here I am. All right, guys, we are just driving to one of my local parks here, and we're gonna talk some some fishing. Welcome to Sunnyvale Park. This park here has a little lake on it, and this is the lake where I actually caught my uh, my five pound largemouth. Small lake, uh, it does get uh, pretty pretty pressure during the summertime, especially by the swimming area. But it's a great lake and holy cow, I think they just updated the bathroom. You see I can put the camera in there. That is nice, did not look like that last year. And yes guys, we still have a bunch of snow here. It's only March 31st, and the temperature is, let's see, my car says 37 degrees outside. So pretty chilly. Um, it's supposed to warm up later this week. But I'm pretty sure the water's still frozen, too. But on the Wisconsin River, uh, we do have some open water. And I know guys are out there, you know, fishing for walleyes. Power off. All right, guys, we are here. Huh. We need a little, a little uh, B-roll here, all right? now that we've done with all that mumbo jumbo stuff basically i have two two awesome announcements to make for you guys on the first is basically you know got a new truck here i've always wanted a truck midside truck ever since i've been driving my dad's truck which was the white one the uh, dodge dakota one um my friends they, they about two weeks ago they told me that um Tacoma's, uh toyota i keep saying dakota toyota is having was having a sale throughout the end the month of uh, march here so they're having about two, three thousand dollars off their trucks. Um, they're having 1.9 APR sell, which is really great for trucks and you don't really see that quite often. So I end up doing a lot of research um, and what I wanted was a um, four door double cab uh, truck with a long, the extended bed, so a six foot bed. And it was just kind of hard to find it within my area. Um, I would have to travel like an hour or two away and you know with my work schedule and whatnot it just didn't really seem kind of possible and i only found the uh these the kind of uh, this kind of model with four doors and a long bed um it was kind of hard to find though i only found maybe um, two or three of those within like an hour drive so i eventually i made up my mind that um i'm gonna get 
a four door no matter what and if i have to get a five bed then you know so be it throughout the next two weeks i you know was checking up on uh toyota of wausau their website and i found a, a posting of this truck right it wasn't like a stock photo it was just one of their advertisement photo for the truck like the inside interior was like not the way like this like how this truck actually is um so i requested some more info on that and uh, one of the sales reps sent me an email with the uh the specs of this truck so open that up looked at it cool four doors awesome and i noticed that it's at six foot bed i was like wait six foot beds not five what so we scheduled an appointment to test drive it uh last saturday at around like 10 11 in the morning and uh funny story was that my mom told me my dad my dad went with me she told us to um hey you know let's go test drive the truck uh don't buy it just see just go test it and see if you like it and i was like yeah sure yeah we'll do mom then you know four hours later uh, my dad and i came back home with the truck the package i came with this truck it's it's one of those uh, basic package not like the folk technology package like no heated seats or anything like that but since i've been since i've been driving the uh, Dakota for so long that you know with i just had a regular fabric seat uh nothing fancy no cruise control no power windows any of those stuff so when i got this truck i was really really excited still am excited i was geeking out um, my girlfriend melissa she was making fun of me too because hey you know this is my very first car you know ever ever bought so uh, growing up my parents would always you know provide us with a, a car to drive between me and my siblings we would always share it so to get this car by myself and drive it you know it's it's basically a dream come true another reason why i really wanted four doors and a long bed was for uh, you know more room more storage uh, better transportation and you know when i bought this truck i was thinking of like the long run you know like 15 20 30 40 years from now i, I do you know i plan on keeping this truck forever and with that in mind you know a family comes into mind as well so having that four door is really really spacious and it does fit my rods in there uh, right now i don't have like my rod to set up or anything like that so it's kind of hard to transport my rod but i tested it and my rod does fit from the passenger side to like the back seat and i tested that with a seven foot two rod so which is awesome uh so you know gives me a little more securement uh, off the rod so I don't have to worry about anyone, anyone coming into the bed of the truck and trying to you know, take my stuff. Since we're talking about rods, I have some awesome news for you guys. If you guys love Shimano and Jackal rods, check these babies out. If you guys haven't heard already, they are making their way to the US, which is awesome. Um, kind of wish I would have knew that earlier before I bought these, but no biggie. Uh, these are actually the, the JDN models uh, from Japan. Um, this one right here. I know on Taco Warehouse they have a 7'2", uh, heavy, 7'3", medium heavy, 6'11", medium, and uh, those are all uh, bay casters. They do have one spinning, which is the one I also have, 6'7", um, medium light. Uh, that's the only one on uh, Taco Warehouse right now, but uh, both these rods are from Japan. This is the Shimano Poison Adrena. It looks awesome. This one right here is actually two piece. Um, the part right here, it comes off the handle. But uh, you no, know, it's nice and solid. It still feels like a one piece. So uh, I kind of wish I would have bought the one piece had I known it was coming to the US this quick. But no, no problem, you know. So if you guys love your Shimano rods, uh, especially, especially like the Poison series, if you guys are a better look here, you guys will love the, the second generation Adrena. This is the second gen one. Uh, I think the first one came out like maybe five years ago, four or five years ago. But this one looks amazing. You guys love the black, all black color. A little bit of chrome on it. Got the uh, the matte bling right there that gets all glossy. So really, really lightweight. And I can already tell it's really sensitive, especially how the button is designed. So definitely check these right out. They are actually cheaper than the, uh, the JDN version by like 10, 20 bucks because of shipping and whatnot. Uh, Tackle Warehouse retail for like $349. Two, three, fifty-nine, ninety-nine. So, pretty good price. Um, I was actually thought they would go up to like at least three ninety-nine or something like that. So, uh, definitely check these out. I'll post a link on my video description where you guys can you know pre-order those uh, poison adrenaline rods. Uh, Tackle Warehouse has them. I know a couple other sites, but I can't remember their name at the top of my head. But if you guys love new trucks, new cars, new rods, definitely give me a thumbs up. And uh, I cannot wait to travel with this beast right here. I can already imagine my kayak sitting right there, getting some bed racks, you know, kayak on top, rod tube. That's going to be awesome. But if you guys are uh, fishing the open water right now, stay safe, have fun, good luck, and I'll catch you guys on the open water.
Peace.